All right, so who is ready to build a team today? Yeah, right? Well, recruiting is a piece of cake, right? Everyone can do it? Mm -hmm. And it, you know what? It's easy for some and it's difficult for others. Do you ever wonder why that is? Do you ever wonder, like, why does that person just have people falling at their feet to get in with their team? And, um, you know, why can't that be me? You know what one difference is? One of the biggest difference is that they ask. They go out and ask. So some of the biggest recruits from the company are not people that sit back and wait for people to join their teams. They go out, present the opportunity, and then make it happen. Um, just a little bit about me. Um, I This is my, I drink the jam juice, and these are my handsome boys that followed me. Um, very supportive. Uh, the one thing is, I was probably the easiest recruit anyone could ever have. Uh, I saw January come up one day and I'm like, hmm, what's that? So I messaged out some people and it took me a while before someone messaged me back. But the lucky person that did, uh, she answered a couple of my questions and she's like, well, do you want me to send you out some samples? And I said, nope, I'll sign up. So here I am. Um, the biggest goal that a person has with being a consultant is team growth. Um, team stands for together everyone advances more. Uh, with that being said, you also want your teams to grow with honesty and integrity. So some of the key points to doing that is when you're building a team, you know, share the compensation plan encourage them um, discuss all the wonderful training and support you know it's not just with your own team it's with ever everyone's teams um, everyone helps each other it's amazing uh, go over the hostess benefits and discuss how they can get a kit credit by hosting an event make sure you're not offering kit credits make sure you are not offering additional rewards or pay um, anything like that. You cannot take kit credits from other parties or a launch party um, to give them that credit. Uh, you know, I said, mentioned don't make any promises with pay. Also, um, you cannot use your credit or debit card to pay for a recruitment's kit, even if they're paying you back. Um, so recruiting. Uh, when recruiting, you want to make sure that you make it about them. It's important when they're starting a business whether it be a side business, a hobby, a career, no matter what it is, you want them to be able to realize how to fit it into their schedule and their lifestyle. So you don't wanna make it about you or what it's gonna do for you. No eyes, me, mine. You wanna really make sure that um, you find what they need and make it find their whys, because everyone's why is gonna be different. Um, have fun, share your love for the product, because people wanna be a part of that. Um, talk to everyone about the opportunity. You never know who may be interested. You can't just assume that someone may be, uh, wouldn't be interested. Uh, don't, be, don't be afraid to ask for referrals. If people aren't interested, hey, maybe they know someone that might be. Uh, don't be afraid to brag about your, um, any kind of promotion or something you get because of Jamberry. Uh, you know, maybe your girlfriend comes up and says, hey, I like those boots you're wearing, thanks. I thought I'd spoil myself with my last bonus from my Jamboree. You know, that puts that little bit of a trigger in their head, thinking, hmm, you know, a little bit of extra cash might be helpful. The one thing I really try to do is uh, never trash talk another company. Um, people are really listening. They want a positive person, a positive experience. And another key, and this is hard, and you really want to relate it to people, but always be positive. Even if you're having a rough month, you want to remain repositive. Okay. Well, how do we find recruits? So to find recruits, create a list. Go through past hostesses, friends, maybe contacts list, um, Facebook. Uh, you know, one of the things I've gone through past customers, take their zip code, enter it in on the Jamberry homepage, and it'll bring up a list of contacts or consultants in that area. 
because you never know there may be no contact or no consultants in that area there might be a few that might be a good in on giving them that opportunity to be one of the first few consultants in the area uh, wear the product all the time no exceptions uh, ask 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 don't prejudge a person uh, listen for cues and then plant seeds when you do hear the cues um, plant the seeds even if you don't hear the clues opportunity um, remember that you're not selling the opportunity you're presenting it and you're offering it to these people uh, you want to be genuine you want to relax you want to share your story and let them ask questions about it do not word vomit all over them they don't want to know every single thing right away let them process it they'll have questions and you can give them more information later um, just a few tips um, i'll scan through these quick just uh, leave catalogs in public places um, leave your information with a waitress look for job fairs um, make sure your friends and relatives are on the lookout for people uh, one of the way I do it is, you know, my mom, my sister, I always have jams on them. My grandma was going to a vacation in Minnesota. I put jams on her before she left. You know, it's little things like that because then people ask and then, you know, they know how to redirect you back to them. So let's talk briefly about some parties. And I know this has been touched a little bit, so I'll just um, give a high overview. But it's really important to develop that relationship with your party, um, interact with every single guest, be really personable, chat with your hostesses, uh, learn their likes and dislikes, keep an eye out for anyone that's really enthusiastic, energetic, um, has a big personality, because those might be the people that you want on your team. Um, every time you check out, whether it be online or at a home party, ask if they want to have a party or even if they want just some more information on the opportunity. Get to know your customers. So, you know, use social media. Face their, or stalk their Facebook page like a scorned woman. No, just kidding. But seriously, you know, do they have kids? Do they like to travel? Um, do they have another job? Are they looking? You know, you really want to find that in and then use it. You know, um, hey, I see you go to CrossFit. Me too. Which box do you go to? You know, and it's just that building of the relationship. Um, this is what really important too, I find, is there are a lot of common responses that people don't want to join. And these you want to, like, be prepared to answer these. Um, just a couple. I'm busy. I'm, I'm too busy to do it. Well, who in this room is not busy? You know, I don't know about everyone else, but I have a full-time job. I work Jamberry. I do photography on the side, and I have a family. It's doable. If I can do it, anyone can do it. Um, I don't have the money. Great. Let's host a party, and you can get the kit credit. Um, I'm not a salesperson. We're not looking for salespeople. We're looking for passionate people that love the product. That's what we're looking for. So, you know, there's, there's a lot of different responses. So just kind of be up to date, think of, so you can think on your feet and not be stopped by those questions. Um, follow up. Lauren Jen just did this, you know, don't pitch it and ditch it. You want to make sure to follow up. You want to make sure um, that you see if they have any questions or concerns. Don't push too hard because really building those relationships are more than just a pitch. Uh, recruiting, do not let fear hold you back. Uh, don't, let, don't worry about what people are gonna think or say, just share your love of the product. Um, love the products and then they will wanna join you. Uh, use Jamberry University, uh, use the dashboard. Uh, Jamberry has given us so many great tools to be able to learn and train and uh, marketing, everything, use it. And finally, oh shoot, it cut off her J. I had a big J on her shirt. <laughs> but if you can believe, if you believe you can be a recruiting machine, you really can. You just take the steps to put in the work. 
And if you do take the time to build your team, you'd be amazed to see where your team takes you in a year. Does anyone have any questions? Great, Robin.